Hi there, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now we are just on our way over, it's bright and early on Friday morning and we're just over to um, a place called the Galleria and um, this has been recommended that we pop over here by lo the lovely Lindsay from the Hoarders Emporium. So we're just gonna pop over now, it's quite early and um, we're gonna nip over and see what they've got. So come along with us. Okey doke, so we've just arrived, um, didn't take us too long to get here and there's just um, we just parked in Sainsbury's over the road because we're just going to nip in and get a couple of bits afterwards so it's quite handy parking. So we're just going to pop inside now and have a look. Um, so as you come in we've got um, loads of flowers and floral arrangements that they do as you sort of walk up and it really is an Aladdin's cave in there. So it looks sort of quite small, probably like a, you know, a shed or an outdoor building but once you go inside, I've just been in and had a look, there's so much in there, so much to see. Um, so you just come up this little area here and then come inside the door. Look, we can see a couple of people we know in there already because we've already been in and had a look. So we'll just go in now. Um, and see so as you first come in you have the um, the till by the door and there's a board here with um, workshops and events um, that they pop up on the chalkboard there so if you want to join up to any of those all right so we're just gonna have a quick look around in this room so there's all little different rooms in different sections we've got some of the thinking putty and um, various different toys all sorts of bits and pieces there we've got some figurines have a quick look just so you can see now within the building there's so much there's a craft room there's so many different rooms um, that you can pop through and and just have a look and by the till here we've got some wrapping paper as well and some cards some really pretty designs on there Okay, now within um, the shop they actually sell the French chic paint. Now um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this before. I've heard of it. Um, I've seen it a couple of times actually, um, but I haven't personally used it. So it's something that I would like to use. They do all sorts of different colours. I'm just going to show you the chart here. Um, so it's displayed really nicely as well with these little hearts. So you've got like um, little trial amounts of them as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little wander through now. And see all the things that I've got. So as you first sort of go up into the main part of the shop, there's so much to see sort of everywhere. So it's a case of keeping your eyes open and having a look. We've got some pet portraits here on the wall. And there are lots of, as I mentioned before, little rooms that come off and um, lots of the rooms are rented um, by sort of outdoor crafters or other people. So um, there's all sorts of different knickknacks and things and that gives you such a wide choice and a variety really when you come in and sometimes um, as a shop owner you, you you get sort of stuck on your style and the sort of things that you want but if you have to if you do have people that come in from um, you know outside then you do get a bit of a, a variety of items as well okay so this is the first little room here we're just going to go out now and have a look around in the next one. Okay, so we've got some cards here. Everything's well priced. So you've got your little tickets there. So you can see. We've got some chalk hearts. And they're £5.99. Okay, there's so many different sections. It's to know where to start really. Got some material here. Looks like a lot of vintage material. Another little section, all sorts of different mugs. Some knickknacks down the bottom here. Got a little bowl with lots of buttons. Got some chunky buttons there. All sorts of different things. And then some walking sticks, look at those. We've got some crystals, We've got some gem trees, some bracelets, tumblestone bracelets, all sorts of different necklaces there in the gemstone jewellery at the bottom. And over here we've got a pink, quite a large pink stand all sorts of crocheted blankets there, personalised cushions, and then we've got another little 
section. There we go, what have we got in here? So we've got hand painted hair slides. So they're just displayed on these tags, which look quite cute. There's all sorts of different designs in there. And we've got some hand painted bookmarks. And some wooden brooches. What have we got in here? Some little tags and they're like butterflies and hearts. And you can just write to and from. There's all sorts of different shapes. Some uh, artwork on the wall there. It's a bit darker in this section, but hopefully you can see quite well. Some nice notebooks, some printed art there, mounted prints on the side. What have we got here? It's from Catherine Matthews. It's a nice sort of gift set there, and there's like a, a wooden type pen there. And gift bags. Okay, let's have a wander through. What have we got in here? All sorts of um, incense, some various clothes on there, some bracelets, got some frames there, personalised frames. This room. I've got vintage aprons. So it says a vintage pillowcase apron, they're £10. There's various different designs there. Let's have a look what these are. These are cute. They're like a cloud. All different designs in those. Oh, they're sweet. Look. Handmade fabric lanterns. It's so nice to see lots of different stuff, isn't it? I thought I'd bring you along so you could have a have a good look around. What have we got here? Light up mini clapper boards. Some badges. The bad elf badge there. Some crochet hooks. There is a craft section as well, I did notice a bit further down, so I'm going to have a look in there. I've got some drawer pulls, they're just £2 each. What have we got in here? I've got thank you cards, fab dad, all sorts of different cards there. Let me show you that one. That one says sorry. Baby I'm yours. I've also got some cushions down there. And some different cards. Look at that beard envy. <laughs> That's good. And there's cards in here for a, a pound in the sale. Right, let's have a look out here now. So I've got some more cards and framed art on the wall over there. So it's got a little sign here just to tell you how much things are. I always love it when things are priced really easily. There's nothing worse than um, not knowing how much something is, you know. There's art bits and bobs down here. What have we got? Some glitter glue. Got some stamps here as well. Sorry about the glare on that. Okay, right, so we're just gonna go up this area here. Got some art on the wall there as well. So then what you do is you just go up these stairs and then on the wall we have some hanging hearts and they seem like they're quite heavy so they're possibly slate. So they're in all sorts of different designs. And what have we got over this side? We've got some more framed prints. Oh look, we've got some little unicorn bits and pieces down here. What have we got? So we've got a wax tin candle, um, matchbook nail files, got some little tiny unicorns there, cute. Unicorn food, so you can get a little unicorn and give it some food. A tiny unicorn keyring, they're sweet, and a purse. A 
and lovely they are. Right, so we're coming up the stairs now and Phoebe's, well, Phoebe's spotted a few bits and pieces she likes, haven't you? But we do have another wobbly tooth, don't we, Phoebes? Very. Very wobbly. So we've found these two fairy pillows. So we'll just have a look around this room. It's really bright and colourful and lots of different pinks and pastel colours. We've got a Nan's favourite recipe book. What are these in here? Oh, they're cute, like one ninety nine. Some umbrellas. Some signs there. My friend told me I was delusional. I almost fell off my unicorn. Hmm. What else have we got? There's a unicorn drinks bottle there. And it's so nice when you have shops like this because um, a lot of these sellers wouldn't normally be able to showcase their their items for um, cost reasons you know they wouldn't be able to probably afford their own large shops so um, when shops do little sections like this it is always helpful to a lot of smaller sole traders what have we got here well, we've got some like piggy type bags here there's lots of unicorn themed items. What's this one? Oh, there's a headband there, Phoebe, look. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I thought you would. We've got lonely socks seeking soulmates at the back there. Sorts of bits and pieces down the bottom. In this section here we have a room and it's packed full of vinyl. This would be Courtney's absolute heaven. So they've got sort of 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Motown, Soul, loads of different stuff. And when Courtney watches this video, she will really panic. <laughs> Think, why did I not go with mum? <laughs> but we can come over again. So she loves stuff like this. I think she would be in here the whole of the, the whole of the time. So the price on the wall there. So if you love vinyl, come along and have a look at this. We've got some old cassettes here. Do you know what these are, girls? Have a look. Do you know what this is, Phoebes? Open it out and let her have a look. Let let Ebony do it, don't I? Show her it. Do you know what that is? It is a bit like that, yeah, what the old people used to put in TVs. It's this is a tape and this plays music. You know, like we have CDs or Alexa or iTunes. This has music on here and it is a bit like the ones we used to put in the TV. They're, they're the old VHS or the old videotapes. So you were not that far away. But I used to use them. Does that mean I'm the old people? I think well, it, it does, doesn't it? Right, so Phoebe's looking for Bruno Mars, but we're really sure that Bruno Mars is not going to be in here, Phoebe. My section's going to be 70s, 50s, 60s, 80s, 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 
some shoelaces. We've got a stand here with all sorts of different papers. Over here we have some bags. So there really is a good selection. Alright, let's have a look on this stand. We've got another couple of stands here. What have we got here? Tiny bags with beads in. Stand. Things for your planner, planner clips there. section here we've got some um, bags and all bits that are sort of handmade what have we got here there's a handmade bag that's really pretty let's have a look at that one that's really sweet I like that and what a lovely design there let's have a look at the tag on that I'm not sure if it's got a price on but we'll have a little look and see these tags are really nice oh the bag's 8 50 for that one and that one's five pound for that smaller one but they're really nice I like those that's five pounds as well in that print there's a larger one there for seven I've got these bandana bibs these are the sort that Alfie that Alfie has I've got some other bibs at the back there little bag it's ten pounds so a little look on the next section here got some uh, it says black crystal jewelry sorts of different jewellery all packaged up and then over here I've got some bags with all sorts of bits and bobs and beads and, and strings of beads <laughs> look there's no place like home except grandma's oh look at these look old um Patterns. Hey, do you reckon Dad'd wear that? No. <laughs> I bet some of these things though have, have come back in fashion and people would wear them now. Let's have a look on this side. Some bags at the top. So the lady um, that owns the shop called Kerry, she said there are a couple of spaces. There's a few different bits and pieces have been sold recently so I think they're going to restock a couple of shelves some hearts there okay this section here Courtney would like this too this is the cat section loads of different cat stuff and I know Hayley will like this too Hayley one of my subscribers she loves cats some spoons some socks, little cat socks, some more there, they're like trainer type type socks. So we quite, came quite early so it wasn't too busy. Um, there's a couple of people coming in and out but um, it's not too bad. So if you like cats definitely pop over and have a look at this little section. some plush cats there, some bags, little purses, different bits and bobs there. Okay, let's go around this bit. This is cool, this huge wooden display stand that they're using for di displaying all their goodies. What have we got? Some cross stitch mini kits there. Got some tiny, tiny kits for cross stitch in there some look at this look genuine Russian dolls there's a Percy the penguin I've got a seal and an owl down there decoupage kits what's this one oh caterpillar connect little games some tubs there cards handmade cards for all occasions some little wooden displays they use in there to display their goods right so let's look around this section here we've got some 
Himalayan salt lamps. We've got some rose quartz tea light holders and some cushions as well. Okay, I've got another section here with candle holders. And then we've got some jewellery. Handmade jewellery there. Let's have a look. It's quite pretty, that's different, isn't it? It's nice to see different things, isn't it? Got some cards there. And then if we just turn around, we've got some um, different artwork. What have we got here? Dog bandanas down there. Got a unit that's been all upcycled with some nice new handles on. Let's have a look on this side. Oh, look at this. A little TARDIS, a police box. Okay, and this is the other side of the stand. Oh, look, if you like macaroons. Look at that, Ebbs. <laughs> that looks good. There's some shoes there. Look at these beautiful shoes. And a robot. Now, those books look cool, but I like those. They're really good. And there's a wooden box at the top there. Okay, let's have a look down here. What have we got here? Some crates. Portobello Road Market. They look cool, don't they? They're 9 95 the big sausage dog umbrella stand and then we've got the uh, games workshop we've got some items in here as well let's go around there's so many things to look at that's the only thing it's just hopefully we don't miss anybody because there really is so much to see some fingerless gloves there crocheted fingerless gloves Sweet little flowers over a little brooch. Well, at least they coconut shells. <laughs> what have we got here? Some different candles and crystals, hanging crystals, and some dream catchers. All right, let's go around here. floral display there. Quite a look at this. Got some baskets, a little stall down the bottom. Some different flower arrangements on the side. Some mermaids up there. Got these mugs with a spoon. Here, Carol's Vintage Originals. These look really pretty. We've got some cups displayed with um, some tea plates and the saucers in these containers here, and they look really nice displayed like this. There's also um, one for glasses there and a tea and coffee set. So that's a really nice way to display them. Got here. This is the old teacup. It says beeswax polish. Got some little bags here, hay fever relief pillow spray and there's some more of the holders at the top there oh look at this, Alfie would like that <laughs> he loves Mickey he really loves the loves it, bless his heart some more bits and bobs over here and in this section here we won't go through but they actually do workshops here so um there were the details that were on the board earlier, so that's where they hold hold the workshops. There's those. And the last little section now, we've got some cushions on the top. And what's this here? Bell's Whiskey Millennium Sealed Bottle. A crystal ball on a stand. What have we got here? Home um, Handmade soaps displayed on a cake stand, got shower and bath gel, some bath bombs, what's this, Snow Fairy Solid Perfume Pot and Stick, that's 350 so I presume these are all, yeah, so I presume they're all handmade. I've got some awesome like felting stuff down here, it always amazes me how people do felting, I think it's, I think it's so clever. 
Some little dogs at the top there and elephants and look at that fairy house. Oh. That is really good, isn't it? They're nice. Look at this little sheep, a multicolored sheep. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I do like these. Let's have a look. I've got a mermaid. I've been swimming that one. You've been swimming There's the mermaid. Ah, oh, they're really nice, Phoebes. Oh, shark. Oh. <laughs> oh, please don't sing the song. <laughs> Look at that little sheep there. That's sweet. They're four oh, pounds for the little shark. ones. Oh, Phoebe likes this little basket, wait, don't you? Wait, just you wait. Three sharks coming in the water. <laughs> <laughs> You're loony. Okay, let's go down this last little section here. And have a look what's on these shelves. Got all sorts of dog treats here. Look. Can't leave the dogs out, can we? Got treat bags here, handmade treat bags with little dog treats in, so you can not forget your four-legged friends. What have we got down the bottom? We've got some um, decoupage items, similar to the things that um, we've made on the channel. I'm just going to go down this section here. We've got some handmade, more handmade items, packaged really sweet. Mixed craft bits and bobs there, 350. So they're all packaged, all nice. We've got some thank you cards there, and some more crocheted items down the bottom. Some sale stock down there, and then on this last stand here, we've got some more. There's a phone cushion there, some more gifts, a tiny, tiny frame there. This is a happiness kit in there. You can buy those. And you've got uh, made to order frames there as well. So thank you so much for coming with us. I hope you've enjoyed having a wander around. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Okie doke, I just want to show you the bag that I bought from the Galleria. And um, this was actually five pounds, which I thought was a really, really good price. It's really pretty. And they had other sorts of fabric as well. They had calf kits and that one was £10, um, but I thought this one was really pretty and absolutely fantastic price. Um, I also want to say thank you to the Galleria as well because they did donate a £10 voucher that we're going to use as a prize for our raffle that we're doing later on in the year. Um, many of you know we've been fundraising um, for Pippa, so we are actually going to do um, a fundraiser, um, a local fundraiser, and also sell raffle tickets to um, to local people. So hopefully that will boost business for for the gallery as well. So thank you so much for the for the kind donation of that. And that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.